Hi everyone, it's Phil from Ashton Leather and I'm super excited to show you our next batch of private stock wallets. We've got about a hundred different wallets in the event and all of the items we're about to see will go live tomorrow, February 2nd at 12 p.m. noon central time. Let's start off here first with a Tony the Ant and this has an incredible epic splatter. These are random die marks and drip marks that happened at the tannery and they were not intending for this to happen. We just happened to notice that they, they look really interesting so we cut them into cool patterns on the wallet. So Tony the Ant here, a lot of the wallets in the private stock event will be Tony the Ants. Let's take a look at the inside. We have Black Shell Cordovan on the right and more of the epic splatter on the left. Up next is one of my favorite wallets that we have ever made. This is our small zip wallet and it is made with a really cool sawtooth star overlay. And this is made in two different colors of shell cordovan. We have color number four and natural shell cordovan on both sides, but it is inverted on the back. Miranda in our shop here has been doing a lot of great work with some of these overlay and inlay kind of textured ideas. And I think the sawtooth star turned out really nicely. The small zip wallet here is one of my favorite wallets, as I mentioned, because it's our only design that we've purposely built for a user that puts their wallet right into a bag. And the reason that this wallet works great for somebody that wears a bag is because of the zipper closure, of course. None of the stuff inside will fall out. We have a bunch of different credit card slots and these gusseted sections on the inside of the wallet. And this one section in the middle here that's a little bit smaller is designed to fit an air tag, or you can put coins in here. Let's keep it rolling with a fan favorite design. This is our vertical Frank the Enforcer in a beautiful piece of reverse natural shell cordovan. Great looking piece of reverse shell on this. It's very, very clean. On the top, we have cut the Horween USA measuring machine stamp. And let's take a look at the back where we have some whiskey shell cordovan with one thumb notch card holder. I mentioned we have about a hundred wallets to look at, so I'm gonna try to pick up the speed. Up next is garnet shell cordovan on the vertical Frank the Enforcer, but this time we have extra card slots on the back. Up next is a beautiful Capone money clip with some more epic splatter, but this time it's epic splatter and garnet shell cordovan. And you can see that red color of the garnet shell on the spine of the wallet. And this Capone money clip is also hand stitched with a really nice forest green color thread. Here's a look at the inside. This is what blew me away when I was taking photos of this really, really cool splattered effect on the interior and the exterior. Here's a Tony the Ant in a marbled color number eight shell cordovan piece. This one has a really dramatic contrast from light to dark. I like seeing this dramatic effect. There are some pieces that we're going to look at in a few minutes here that have a little bit more of a subtle contrast. So keep this in mind when I'm talking about it. I like this dramatic effect where it's, it's more clearly delineated from dark to light. Some people like a little bit more of a subtle effect that we'll look at in a moment. Tony the end here, nice hand stained edges. And then here's a little bit of a lighter marbling on the interior. And I have another Tony the Ant here in one of the most rare shell cordovan colors. This is whiskey shell cordovan. It does not get often produced by Horween Leather Company. It's a little bit darker, more yellow and golden in color when compared to natural shell cordovan. And on the outside, this is actually closer to natural. I think this might also be whiskey. It's hard for me to tell. Could be either whiskey or natural on this one, either very light whiskey or very dark natural. And this piece of cordovan is sitting on reverse whiskey shell cordovan so we can show the Horween ink stamp in the bill slot. Speaking of the ink stamp, here is one in reverse blue shell cordovan. Beautiful Tony the Ant. On this piece, we have reverse blue on blue shell cordovan. This is hand stitched with a red thread. Beautiful effect there with the red and blue. And on the inside, some epic splatter. And these are hand glazed card slots. So you can see the luster is increased. We filled in the reverse side of the cordovan to make it a little bit more smooth and shiny. And here's another hand glazed piece. I think this is reverse black shell cordovan and it's a little bit more forest green. So reverse black on the cordovan is more green. And this is our two shot card case, only two card components on this. There is no card slot on the back. And this two shot is hand stitched with a purple thread. And here's another absolute stunner. This is our Vic Snap Wallet in a piece of shell cordovan that I think was actually originally a mistake. This was supposed to be dip dyed amaretto shell cordovan. I think we've been starting to call this blood orange shell cordovan because the color is certainly much more red than what amaretto is supposed to be. But what you can see on the inside of this is a little bit more of that orange shade. So this is kind of the color of amaretto on the backside. Sometimes we like to make wallets on the reverse dip dyed amaretto and that's what this is inside the flap. But if you're looking at the shell side, we should call it blood orange shell cordovan. So Vic snap wallet here in a beautiful piece of shell. This one 
one's also hand stitched with a card slot on the back. And let's have a look at some really crazy looking fat herpes. <laughs> this is inverted black shell cordovan. And I really love the look of this. We have a bunch of inverted shells. In fact, I think in a couple of weeks, we're gonna to try to offer some more inverted shell cordovan options. The inverted black is this, so it's darker black, little bits of green tone to it, and it sort of fades down to that copper, lighter tan shade underneath. This is about as dramatic of a texture that we have seen on the inverted shell cordovan. So one of the coolest pieces here. On the inside, we have more of that inverted black shell cordovan with a really dramatic contrast. Here's another one that absolutely blew me away, especially in the photos. This kind of reminds me of the ocean or something. It's got a really nice aqua blue shade on all the pattern pieces and it ranges in color. So in the center, we have denim blue shell cordovan. On the left, this is a little bit more like psychedelic shell cordovan, especially on the top, but it sort of fades down to lighter bluish green shades here and all the colors in between. The right side is also reverse blue shell cordovan, a little bit different in that range too. It's a really cool effect on all of these. And then we've continued that same idea on the backside. And this sort of reminded me of clouds in the sky, sort of going across these little bits of I don't even know what this is. It's just reverse shell cordovan. You can't feel any difference there. And I have another stunner to show you. In fact, there's many more stunners, so I'll stop calling them all stunners. This is reverse marbled ultraviolet shell cordovan that has some really cool epic texture, splatter, everything going on, as well as the Horwin shell cordovan ink stamp. This is sitting on top of some natural shell cordovan. I really like the hand stained edges that you can see on the bill slot there, as well as all the edges of the wallet that you can see here. And then on the inside, we have natural shell cordovan. And I think you should take a drink every time I say shell cordovan. Another piece of marbled ultraviolet, except this time we're showing you the shell side. And this is an incredible, Fat Herbie, one of my favorite looking wallets that, that we've ever done. I feel like I've said that twice today, but this is an absolute masterpiece. I really love how all this has come together. So again, marbled ultraviolet, we get the range of color from sort of darker purple to lighter pink, and then it fades all the way down to the lighter natural shell cordovan color. We've hand stitched this Fat Herbie with a sapphire blue color stitching, which is very, very nice looking. We also have a hand stained edge on this. And then on the interior, we have more marbled ultraviolet shell cordovan. If you watched a recent Rose Anvil video, we made him a fat Herbie that's kind of similar to this. Another wallet, this is a little bit more of a blast from the past. I think we launched this one 2023. Uh, everything is blurring together. This is Chicago Tan Dublin on our mama wallet. So inside of this snap closure, and this is a magnetic snap, it's very easy to open and close. So on the inside of the Mamba wallet, we have these card holders as well as one longer cash compartment. Some more Tony the Ants to look at. Reverse natural shell cordovan underneath some natural shell. And then on the back, this is a really nice piece of garnet shell cordovan. One, maybe one of the smoothest pieces of shell that I've ever seen. And hopefully this translates well on the video. It's really, really smooth and bright and shiny. This Tony is also in marbled ultraviolet. Give you a sense of the difference of texture for all the marble shells. This is sitting on ultraviolet shell cordovan. We've got a red stitching along the outside. And then on the inside, we have some reverse, it looks like color eight shell cordovan. And a couple weeks ago, we launched this guy. This is the brand new Lucky Wallet that I am still carrying. Mine is currently in the brown cypress leather. We are working on the pre-orders right now. So everybody that has pre-ordered, you should be receiving your soon. We've made a couple private stock versions of the brand new Lucky Wallet. Both of them are in violet shell cordovan. This first one here has an electric blue hand stitching on it. And the other one here is an absolute stunner as well. Violet shell cordovan, a little bit darker at some angles for this violet shell. I noticed looking at it at this angle, you can really see a lot more of those purple tones. And then this one has a contrasting yellow hand stitching. Up next is my favorite shell cordovan color. This is Amaretto shell cordovan for the Tony the Ants. Here's a version of the Tony the Ants called the Tall Tony, where we have a bill slot on the outside that extends all the way to the top. So instead of having it thumb notch like normal, this one goes all the way up to the top. We did that because some euros and yen and other bills were a little bit taller and people wanted to fully conceal them. This is also in a special piece of leather. This is the teal cypress leather. Up next is another one of my favorite leathers. This is Latigo, a natural color, no stain applied to this Latigo. And on the interior of this giant of the fox, we have mock horsehide Latigo, which I have not seen in a long time. I think we're out of this leather now. Another one here, maybe one of my favorite wallets ever. This is another inverted piece of shell cordovan, but this time instead of the black like we saw earlier, 
We have inverted blue shell corvin, which is beautiful. Nice range of aqua blue tones, little bits of green in there, and then it fades down to lighter tan shades as well. We have a gold foil hot stamp on the inside of the wallet, and on the outside, we have some denim blue shell cordovan. This one also has a very nice hand-stained edge, which I think sort of ties all the blues going on here together. Another cool one here, all reverse shell cordovan for this Johnny the Fox. And I should mention that Johnny the Fox is our most popular wallet style. I think most people relate to this model. And on the outside, we have the normal Horween shell cordovan ink stamp, which is often hard to cut next to a measuring machine stamp. We were able to cut one out for this wallet, which is what makes it private stock. And on the inside, we have some more reverse black shell cordovan. You notice the difference of color on the reverse black can range significantly. So whether it's a little bit lighter or more pea green on the outside or a little bit darker on the inside, they're all totally random. Another great piece of blue shell cordovan. This is denim blue shell cordovan. I really like this aqua blue shade. And the cool thing about the denim blue is it really is a dramatic shift in color depending upon which angle you look at it. Some angles is a little bit more vibrant more aqua blue, other angles, it's a little bit more navy. And this one is special because it is a 100% denim blue shell cordovan. It's super difficult for us to get the naturally thin pieces of shell cordovan for all the card slots on the inside of this wallet. And I said we had a ton of Tony the Ants. People have been asking for this. So let's go through some more of them. This is marbled color eight shell cordovan. This is the more subtle version that I was hinting at earlier. And you can see it doesn't have those harsh delineations of color. This is a little bit more subtle. I think more people like this effect. So marbled color eight on top of natural with a reverse interior. This Tony is denim blue shell cordovan on the outside and on the inside. Another special piece here in tumbled shell cordovan. I believe this is tumbled cigar shell cordovan on top of cigar. We have really cool contrasting hand stained edge on this one. It's a little bit more red. And on the inside, we have cigar on top of reverse cigar. Another hand stitch, Tony. This is, I believe this is ultraviolet shell cordovan on reverse ultraviolet hand stitch with that orange thread, which seems to be most people's favorite hand stitch color that we do. Here's a look at the inside again. Another hand stitched one in the sapphire color. This is marbled ultraviolet shell cordovan on the inside with ultraviolet on Western ultraviolet for the exterior. Here's one in gator texture on denim blue shell cordovan. This is denim blue in the center. That's the smooth version with a red contrasting stitch. On the inside, we have reverse on top of blue shell cordovan. And hopefully you're drinking every time I say shell cordovan. Raw denim shell on top of reverse shell. And then the outside, we have denim blue shell cordovan on the gator texture denim blue shell cordovan. Drink it up. I'm just trying to describe the wallets here, guys. You're the ones drinking. All right, we got denim blue shell on the outside of this one with a contrasting orange color stitching and reverse on top of denim blue on the inside. Here's a wallet that is not shell cordovan. We have some blue cypress on top of what I think is English tan something. I'm not really sure what that orange leather is, but it's kind of similar to Dublin and kind of similar to Latigo. It's a little bit of a cross between each of those, so it has like a different feel texture. So I don't want to lie to you. I'm not certain what that leather is, but it certainly contrasts very nicely with the teal cypress. Up next is whiskey shell on top of marbled. I think this is marbled cigar on the top. You can see a little bit of the, uh, the cigar color on the bill slot there. And on the inside, we have some psychedelic shawl in the center, psychedelic on the right. I'm not really certain what this is either. Here's an epic texture, whiskey shell cordovan on green shell cordovan. And on the inside, we have marbled blue. Another one of my favorite, amaretto on top of, I believe this is marbled cigar for the centerpiece. This one has that cool hand stained edge, a little bit of a contrasting color. And on the inside, marbled color eight on top of reverse. This one is marbled cigar on the outside, I think. Pretty sure that's marbled cigar. And on the inside, we have green shell cordovan. This could be a little bit of a marbled shell on the inside here. Here's another good combo, reverse green on top of green shell cordovan. And on the inside, it's all reverse. Another combo here that's similar to the last one, reverse color eight on top of color eight, and then reverse color eight with some nice splatter on the interior. I believe this is the last Tony cool little pale green on the interior here. And on the exterior, we have amaretto on top of a very light 
denim blue shell. Let's hop into some Frank the Enforcers. I really love these color combos. We've got the brown cypress on top of yellow latigo, and those are alternating with a yellow color hand stitching, and then yellow on brown in the back. Same kind of deal here, but this time it is in black Dublin and yellow horsehide latigo. This Frank the Enforcer is in natural shell cordovan with a blue stitching along the outside. Another natural shell piece, but this is epic natural shell cordovan. You can really see that visual texture difference on this piece. We also have that same color contrasting blue color stitching on the front and on the back. Here's a nice Frank the Enforcer. I love how the color fades up on this one. I believe it's color eight on the bottom and then either color four in the center and then garnet on the top. I think that turned out nicely. Really good hand stained edge on this piece. And then on the back, we've got the same combo. Another wallet here, another Frank the Enforcer. This one is hand stitched and this is hand glazed as well. So reverse color eight for the bottom two panels, color eight on the top and more hand glaze reverse color rate on the bottom for the back. And here's a good combo, amaretto shell cordovan for the bottom, and then denim blue shell for the top two pieces. Really love both of these together. I think that works very nicely, and it's, of course, a very beautiful piece of amaretto shell cordovan. This is a variation on our Frank the Enforcer. We call it the five slots. We've got these two card slots in the back, two on the front, and then the one card opening in the center. I did mention there were 100 wallets, right? I'm not even gonna be able to do all of them in the video. Here's a Capone money clip in natural chrome XL. The Capone money clip in Western blue on Western natural shell. And I have some really spectacular Johnny the Foxes to show you in marble shell cordovan. This first one is marbled cigar shell cordovan with a reverse interior. This is also marbled cigar shell cordovan with a reverse in interior. And each of these will receive their own product page. So the one you see photos of will be the exact one you get. And the third marbled cigar shell Johnny the Fox with a reverse interior. This is an irregular wallet. We have natural shell cordovan with contrasting teal color stitching and a contrasting teal interior. And I've got some more marbled shell wallets to show you. This time it's marbled green shell cordovan, which all five, there's five of them and they all look really cool. So marbled green on the outside with reverse interior, another marbled green with a reverse interior. Here's number three for marbled green with the reverse. Number four, marbled green with the reverse. And I'm getting very repetitive. And the last of the marbled green, I don't think I've seen much marbled green shell cordovan ever. So it's really cool to see three foxes back to back to back to back. Uh, so we can see the difference in all those colors. And you just look at the inside of this guy. One more Johnny the Fox to show you. I'm actually not sure. I think this is ivy wood shell cordovan. It's sort of like a combo or like, the the in-between color of amaretto and color four shell cordovan. And the inside of this one, we have a brown horsehide latigo. Here's a fun wallet that we don't do very often. This is the Joe Batters. It's kind of like our Capone money clip, but instead of having the money clip, we have a bill slot on the outside, as well as this unique skip stitch, which allows cash uh, to be put in and taken out just a little bit more easily. Some more fan favorites. This is our vertical Bugs Moran. This is made in 100% raw natural shell cordovan. And this is a really special piece of raw natural shell, super clean looking. Here's another fun vertical Frank. This time we have cobalt blue Dublin on the back, which is a little bit darker of a blue for the surface. The undertones that you can see down the spine are a little bit more of an aqua blue. And then the inside we have English Chan Dublin. This however only has one card slot and a hidden card slot on the right where the other one has two. And we're getting to my favorite wallet style, Fat Herbie. Check out this marbled black shell cordovan. Fat Herbie, love the range of color in this piece of shell. And this one turned out great too. This is cigar shell cordovan. A lot of people are trying to find this rare shell color. It's a more true brown shade when compared to color eight. And color eight has like a little bit more red burgundy to it. This one has a hand stained cigar edge and then a reverse interior, which I think pairs perfectly. Here's a fun one in tumbled natural shell cordovan. Check out that figuring that unlike some of the other epic textures this one you actually can feel all that texture let me try to show you in the light how that might look this one turned out great too i'm really enjoying the hand stained edges especially with the reverse shell so this is reverse black shell cordovan i believe with a black hand stained edge double ink stamp on the back of that one and the inside we've got the same reverse shell and let me show you those edges again because it turned out very very nicely up next is another marble shell piece. That, however, this is an irregular, which is why I have those neon post-it notes. I really wanted to show you this one because the texture of the marbled on the outside of this wallet is really, really cool. So you can get this one for a little deal. Here's another marble shell piece on the Fat Herbie. 
good hand stained edges for this wallet as well. Here's a look at the exterior with black on top of marbled shell. And then I have a couple passport holders. This is natural shell on the inside with epic natural on the outside. Here's a good one in dark green shell cordovan. Might be hard to see in the video here, but this is definitely a dark green shell. Natural wax and burnished edge. And then the inside we have reverse black, I believe. And I've got a couple bugs Marin to end it off. Epic splatter reverse color eight for this first one and then color eight shell on the outside. Here's a look at some black shell cordovan on whiskey shell for the card slots and black for the exterior. Good hand stained edge for that Bugs Marin as well. And another one with some hand glazing. So this is reverse natural with a hand glaze finish on it that we do in house with a, our own special method. Check out how much we're able to fill in the reverse side of the shell. It almost looks like normal shell cordovan that filled in in bright shiny luster. I love the way that the hand glazing looks on our reverse shell. Here's a look at the backside. This is denim blue shell cordovan. Speaking of denim blue, the last wall of, of the day is 100% denim blue shell cordovan for the Bugs Moran with that, it frames it out nicely, this waxed natural burnished edge. Really gives a nice like picture window <laughs> effect for the wallet. So let me know which one of these was your favorite. I'm gonna have to come back to the first wallet. This, there's, I don't know. I don't know what this is, but there's something about the splattered effect on this specific reverse black. It's maybe one of my favorite looking wallets ever. It kind of reminds me of camo, but I don't know. There were so many good pieces in this drop and I wasn't even able to show you all of them. Let me know what your favorite one was in the comments. Actually, tell you what, give me a thumbs up if you liked any of the wallets. I'd really appreciate that. And there was, as a reminder, all of these wallets will become available tomorrow, Friday, February 2nd at 12 p.m. noon central time. And you'll be able to find each of these on the private stock page of our website. If you wanna be the first to know when they launch, I give you a heads up on our newsletter. Make sure to sign up there. And until next time, hope you guys have a good one.